<laughs> Yo, what's up everyone? I'm here joined by Matty Inaba, Rubik's Cube person. He came all the way from Hawaii to this place because I told him we're gonna battle for this. What do you think of it? I'm intrigued. There's one issue though, guys. Yeah, Matty is a bit faster than me. He's not just a bit faster, in fact, he's a North American champion. That's why I have this bag. I call it the bag of terror because it is full of challenges me and Matty are gonna do it together. If he beats me in points by the last challenge, he gets the beautiful Ooh. present. All right, Matty, choose your first challenge. Now you cannot look in the bag, you can only feel. Ooh. Matty has a small cube, I have normal cube. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one, go. Man, I'm so much better than you. <laughs> Challenge number two. Oh, this is, uh, this is interesting. Guys, this is my fire treated cube. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not good. Three, two, one, go. What? <laughs> Seven <laughs> on this cube. Oh, well. Hey, tied up, tied up. Challenge number three. You can only use one hand. Yeah, Maddie here is good at solving with one hand, but is he good enough? Let's see. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Let's go. That was so close. <laughs> 0.04. Okay, next one. I need to make a comeback, guys. Mm. Ah, Maddie chose a cube with the wrong color scheme. No, don't, 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 don't practice yet. He, he's getting used to the color scheme already. <laughs> on a normal Rubik's cube, yellow is opposite of white, but on this one, it's opposite of green. So this will hopefully mess with his hat. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Wait, we're gonna... Oh, that was an e -perm. That was a That was a solid solve. Okay, we're equally good at this point. How do you feel about that? Um, the one-handed one was a lucky win, so <laughs> I feel like it's fair. Challenge number five. <laughs> you know what that is? Some weight five. Uh-oh. This is loop to make your cube more controllable, but what happens if you add a bit too much? A bit too much in the cube. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, let's do a bit more. A bit more. Does this does this make you scare? A little bit. I don't see how let's... I'm gonna turn it. Oh my god. <laughs> I just... <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Oh, it's hurting my hand. Oh no. Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> you cannot turn it, right? <laughs> yes, your boy q -Pad takes the lead. Challenge number six. Ooh. Oh, okay. This right here is a six by six, but he doesn't have to solve the entire cube, right? But however, he is gonna do the three by three stage um, of a six by six. Okay, okay. Three, two, one, let's go. Does it turn well? Oh, I plus two. Oh, you beat me. <laughs> now, so far, Maddie has been able to keep up pretty well. But if only you knew that the hardest challenges were yet to come. Challenge number seven. This has two scrambles on it. One for Maddie and one for me. So the scramble that I have is a world record scramble. In other words, this is the scramble that Max Park got a three second solo. Yeah. However, Maddie has gotten the worst scramble possible. I was just Googling a bit, looked for the worst scramble. This is the one I found. So is it good? Uh, no. <laughs> Challenge number eight. No inspection. For an official solve, you get 15 seconds of inspection time, where you try to inspect your first few moves. But what happens if you take this time away? So, Maddie 
is gonna start his timer, lift off the cube cover and has no inspection time. I, however, can look at my cube as long as I want to. How do you feel about that? I'm nervous. I don't, I have no expectations. Yeah, are you gonna take like a second to look at it or are you just gonna do immediately I'm just, start? I'm just gonna send it like. <laughs> Three, two, one. That was not even close. Maddie has five wins. The only thing that can happen is that we tie. But if if we tie, you don't get a you don't get a present. No, but oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know the next challenges. It's not gonna be easy for him. It's not gonna be easy. So let's see what happens. All right. Challenge number nine. Okay. That one. That one is for me. Oh. <laughs> This time, I have a 2x2, two two, you have a 3x3. Three three. One thing though, one thing though, you can give me a scramble, so it can be bad. Oh, okay, you give me a scramble. I'll give him a bad scramble then. Right. Ooh, that's not a good scramble. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> you would need to break almost like world record for this, but... Well, yeah. I okay, so the very last challenge now. Man. You want this, right? I do want that. That's the only reason you went to Belgium, so... Thank you need you. to beat me now. Yeah. Otherwise, you won't get it. I'll just throw it in the trash bin. Trash can. Trash, trash can. I guess I can look now. It just has a scramble for me this time. Let's see what it is. Does this scramble look good to you? Yeah, I can see full F2L, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> On this scramble, I got the Belgian record of 5.88. I know the solution. I know that's it's a good scramble, but Maddie, however, he's, go he's just gonna get a normal scramble. So let's see if he can beat me when I know the solution and it's even a good scramble. All right, Maddie, I hope you're ready. I'm not ready. Yes, good scramble. I can see everything. <laughs> I don't even need to look for this one. Three, two, one. Congrats, you beat me. You, you're a bit better than me. I lost this one. It was close though. So That's here you cool. go. The reason you went to Belgium. What do you think's inside it? I don't know. It looks like an iPhone to me. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Uh. Let's open it up. I think this is doable. I mean. Wait, you think you're gonna beat me? No, but I think this is... Yes. 